That's not exactly a spoiler. Okay, this is a bit scary. There's a couple of guys. I'm going to guess they're both peasants. I don't like being trapped. All right, he's paralyzed on the bright side. Let's go here and press zero. Get some fucking help. Because we're kind of trapped. Okay. The good news is we can maybe bring him up and paralyze him right here. Let's hope he's dumb enough to come right to here. There, he's paralyzed. I should be able to pass my turn right here and watch him die. Yep. Fuck you, you dead. There's another guy. Let's see if we can lure him up. Oops, I'm pressing the wrong key. That was a period. I didn't mean it to be a period. I meant to press this. There's a danger there. I'm using... Again, I'm pressing the period as a turn right key. For some reason, that's my instinct, and I don't know why that's my instinct. All right, another one's dead. So I lose sight of the, uh, the grid bugs, but they don't disappear. They're still there. So let's remember they're by those stairs. Let's hope the random number god causes more deaths. What is it? Um, you refresh and recuperate your eye. Okay, so we got the health. Let's go up here to this purple thing, which I think gives us a... Uh... Refresh and recuperate your eye. Well... The ranger shoots an arrow at you. Let's duck the fuck back here. He's also quite fast. Let's press period. He's paralyzed. Grid bug's getting him. You feel completely healed. Oh, we got lots of grid bugs there. Good. They killed the ranger. Okay, so we've seen um, peasants, tourists, and rangers so far. Very, very cool. Rangers apparently have a ranged attack. You know, it never dawned on me. I don't, I don't even know if this is true. But the fact that the word ranger includes the word range, does that imply, was the original you know, intention of that word to say... A ranger is somebody who has a ranged attack? Is that what that word means, technically? Look at that. That guy's not getting out of there. Nope. Um, I always assumed it meant somebody who ranges around, or maybe works on a range, like a, like a game preserve or something. I don't know. Not sure where the etymology of that word is. What is he? He's a ranger. I want to get his attention, but I don't want him shooting me too much. All right, I gotta press. His, I gotta look at him. That's what I gotta do. He's paralyzed. All right, looks like we got him. I'm gonna eat one of these red things. Did I see one over here? No, thought I did. You feel charged up again. Okay, well, at least we can summon again. If it comes to that. Let's try and get that purple thing if we can. Got lots of grid bugs around. A little health, maybe? Got more health, I think. Let's get some more. I think we got more. Might as well grab this. More players are killed. It's funny it refers to them as players. I mean, it's kind of interesting. We're, essentially, it's implying not just that we're a floating eye. It's implying that we are specifically the AI in a game. <laughs> There's also a uh, red thing here. Let's grab that. All right, more of them got killed with that. So they're all dead. Let's get down to level four. What we got here? What we got? Got coffee is the first thing. Let me do a full pirouette here. Okay. 
Let's look at him and pass our turn. Okay, he's stopped. Let's let's zero the fuck out of this. Um, zero. Let's make sure he dies via that. I don't know if I needed that for sure. So it's kind of hard to tell where the health where the health bar like starts and stops, which is not cool. Damn it, he's going to kill that guy. One of them is dead. Two of them are dead. Okay. We're doing okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna guess it's just a score. Like there's no um there's nothing nothing but a score, just how many how many people did you kill? But maybe not. Maybe there's a you reach a certain number of kills and you instantly win, or maybe there's a get down to a certain depth. I can't be get down to a certain depth, because that's easy enough to do. You just walk down every fucking staircase you see. I don't know. Let's give it the old college try regardless. We'll figure it out. Go get him, good bugs. That guy doesn't want to die. He's dead. I could use a little health. Let's grab that. Let's also try and get to here. Although it's not going to happen. I don't know if I need to uh, summon anything. I don't. So I'll save my power. You feel your gaze in power. Maybe I gained an ex extra... And actually, not just recharged, but gained an extra of these things. Uh, we're up to six now of our uh, mana asterisks. Our masterisks, as they shall henceforth be called. It's kind of neat that one one little strategy with those red things is like sometimes they'll heal you and therefore you should save them until you're hurt. On the other hand, sometimes they just kill a bunch of things on the map, in which case you should definitely just grab them as soon as you see them. It's kind of cool. Don't need the purple one, I don't think. At least not yet. Follow me. Now we're down here. Let's explore down here. One thing I do like, I mean, again, I don't I don't have a definitive answer whether or not there's a victory condition, but one thing I did like about Gru is there is a victory condition, like get to the top level. Um, I've commented, well, even recently, I've commented on the fact that I... I I find much less enjoyment in a roguelike if it doesn't have a victory condition. If it's just, uh, you know... Oh, you got gaze. Okay, so we have 0, 1, and 2. I'm going to write these down now. In case we're at this a while. 0 is summon. Still my favorite. 1 is blink. Eh, blink, I get it. Where am I? Um, 2 is gaze. I'm sure that's not intended that way. It's just a standard blink spell, but... But I get it nonetheless. Alright, let's grab this and see if we get an extra psychic power or heal up or anything. Here, we get some health. We could use some healing, so let's grab this one too. Alright. Don't know what gaze does. Maybe maybe it freezes anything that's within my uh, within my field of vision instead of just if it's directly adjacent to me. That'd be cool. Especially if it works on multiple parties, you know. That could be great. If we had enough to do that and then summon, man, we could wipe out a whole bunch of guys. I'm thinking there's nothing left here, but let's uh, let's be certain of that. 
Another possible victory condition that I do not expect is get all 10 of your power slots filled. Let's go look over here. Grab this and see if we can get up to. Oh, we are at seven. Let's see if we can get up to eight. Eight power things. No, it did nothing for us. Literally can't help us in any way. I guess we can remember it's here in case we have to flee back for some reason. That would appear to be the level. Nope, it's not. That would be the level. Let's head downstairs. That's a pretty cool game. I'm, I'm enjoying it. All right. Oh, fuck me. Let's look at that bitch. Let's look around first. Right now let's look at that bitch. All right, he's frozen. Gridbug's getting him. Let's press period, period. Got one of them. Let's back off so he comes down here and gets eaten by these grid bugs. Period. Whoops. Period. He's... So he didn't attack me, at least he attacked that thing. Oh, it didn't uh, count it as... Uh... If he attacks and I gaze, like uh, he's in my square, it doesn't doesn't block him. Uh, it doesn't actually hurt him. Maybe because he's looking at the grid bug and not looking at me? I don't know. I won't grab that purple thing yet in case it can heal me later or something. Let's get them on the map. There's another one dead. The, the, the peasants are pretty easy. Especially once you got some allies on the board. So this is not gonna stop him, damn it. Maybe he's just smart enough to avoid like, this is not gonna stop him either. Because he's gonna uh, oh there, there it did. Maybe because he he went for me, he attacked me. That is it. He was looking at me instead of the grid bug. So he's dead. He's dead. We got some health back. Why the hell not? Let's grab this in case it's like, hey, you killed a bunch of people. No. Scheisse. Killed a bunch of people. Yeah, okay. There you go. Yeah. You feel your gaze in power. Uh, one, two, three, four. Still at seven. I don't know what that meant. Yeah, the grid bugs come out of the woodwork when you've got them paralyzed. It's like they sense a free meal. I would like to meet more of the, uh, like, I'd like the, I'm not getting a real strong sense of the game's getting massively tougher as we go. We're on, like, depth five now or something? I don't know, four or five. We're still meeting all these fucking peasants. Um, <clears throat> I loved the fact that we met that tourist who was dangerous as fuck. Um, but, and, and we've met a couple of rangers who are obviously more dangerous than, than peasants, but I am, uh, <clears throat> I'd like to get to, you know, a level where, where everything's a tourist and everything's a ranger. Like if we're, if, it, if, it, especially if it's just a score game, then find a way to kill me because we might be here for a fucking 20 hours. There will come a point if it, if it doesn't get any tougher than this. So there'll come a point where I'm like, okay, I'm done. I think we might be almost done the level. And there was nothing but peasants here. Just peasants, though, as far as the eye can see. Get it? As far as the eye can see. Damn, that's funny. That seems to be it. Maybe almost. Right, there's nothing left for me to do with the purple things. They're not helping me in any way. I'm maxed out on all fronts. Let's uh, do one last check over here in case we've missed a section of the dungeon and there's like, I don't know, a caveman hiding over here or something. 
Completely healed. I was already completely healed. Okay, we're out of here. <clears throat> Down to the next level. Was I on this stair? I look like I was beside it. Okay, well, whatever. All right, wait, 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 cool. Okay, I just talked about getting tougher. We see two peasants, a ranger, and a mage? I was going to say minotaur, but mage makes more sense, doesn't it? Okay. Um, we got to get out of here, kind of. Let's not get out of here yet. Let's see if they noticed us. Some of them have. Let's, let's freeze him. Let's cast zero. We still have enough for a blank if we need it. All right, the, the ranger is dead. Freeze him. Freeze him. All right, so they're dead. Can we get this guy's attention? Is he dumb enough to come? He might be. It's a monk. The monk's blindfold blocks your gaze. Let's teleport away. At least we're hitting him a bit. With uh, one? One is blink? Alright. Oh fuck, he's following me. And he's pretty fast. You blink your eyeball. Uh-oh. I have not got enough power left to do much of anything. As far as I can tell, he's ungazable. <clears throat> he's not. I can at least stop him. We're getting hurt, but we're not necessarily getting like a one-shot killed or anything. Maybe this will yet another stupid death him. You feel completely healed. That's good. This monk is terrifying. I need to summon some shit. Or... Alright, get there we go. Is he dead? Is there any chance that... No, I don't think he's dead. Did he just lose track of me? Zero. Did he kill them all with one fucking... hit? Zero. I'm hoping that they can stop him. Because I can't. <laughs> okay. We're in trouble. Let's try another z zero. No, I don't know. See, what it means to say is you don't have enough energy to summon. It's saying heal yourself. Let's try one and see if we have enough to do that. Nope. You need three. This is our only hope. Let's gaze at him. So it's getting tougher. That's cool. I would absolutely love it if we can uh, find out that there's like a lot of cool, you know, new enemies. There's a bee. What the fuck's a bee? Charged up, eh? Barbarian, maybe? Barbarian. Alright, we got him. He might just do a lot of damage or something, is my guess. So for the monk is the, uh, by far, the single most deadly fucking enemy. Let's not grab that yet. Maybe it'll help us get more power back to summon more shit if we need it. <clears throat> you learn the ability heal. Okay, so three is heal. It's running long, man. <laughs> if we get to another few minutes, we're definitely at the, uh, make it into two video marks. You already know if it's been two videos. For all I know, it'll be a fucking ten videos. I don't know.
peasant. I mean, nice and pleasant. Gridbug's having trouble killing it. May not have succeeded. All right, something did. All right. Oh, that's good. We do have, incidentally, uh, looks like nine, nine masterisks at this point. I'm gonna grab one. All right. This game could maybe use, especially if it's only got a high score, it could use a policy. Oh fuck me! What is that? Well, let's find out. The Valkyrie is paralyzed by your gaze. Thank God. Let's press it zero to summon some shit. Even after it's fucking frozen, it's still hitting me. Oh, maybe those periods, those colons are newts. They're not, uh, those are actual monsters. I was thinking they were just dead bodies. They're not. All right. That Valkyrie could take a lot of damage. But we got it. It looks like it could also hit while it's frozen, maybe, is the other ability it had. So far, in order of danger, I'm putting uh, monks as number one, tourists as number two. We didn't see enough of a mage. I don't know what the hell a mage could do. But in terms of what I know, I would put a ranger at number three. Valkyrie at number four. And then Barbarian and Monk and Peasant. I don't know what order they go in. Oh, five might pass a turn, too. I'm not sure. That'd be nice if it's true. Five. Yeah, five also passes a turn. That simplifies things for me. Definitely prefer that to the period. So there were some, um, besides the one glaring problem with the help menu, there's also some missing data. I don't know if I told you about the up and down keys. It just assumes you know that as a roguelike player. And it didn't, uh, it didn't mention that you could use five to pass your turn either. <clears throat> well, let's grab this. I'm going to grab that one that's blocking the hallway, too, to make sure we explored the full level. Yeah, I was thinking maybe if it said you can't leave the level until all enemies are dead, that would make uh, the game a bit tougher, because we got away from that monk by fleeing down the stairs. Um, if we hadn't been able to do that, our game might have ended sooner. All right, let's go down further. There is a, what are they called? A tourist. Let's f freeze it immediately. Let's cast... Summon. All right, good, it's dead. Let's grab this. You feel charged up. All right, well, whatever. We might have like 10 or 11 of those fucking things now. We are severely powerful. You feel your gaze in power. Whoa! Archaeologist is paralyzed by your gaze. Thank God. Let's go fucking hide up here. Definitely, again, archaeologist is another net hack. Uh, barbarians a net hack uh, class ranger. So this is supposed to be in the net hack verse, I think. Uh, if, if we want to look at it that way, you might be able to play a peasant in net hack too. I don't really know. This is not proving like overwhelmingly challenging so far. Is the K? Is like the king? Knight, probably a knight. I should have uh, went back up to the safety of my allies, but let's uh, go like that. 
Let's do that as well. Let's hope these various monsters can kill them. One of them is dead. Yeah, knight. Uh, knight uh, second knight's dead as well. That's good. You feel charged up. We got another fucking asterisk. So uh, when you feel charged up, I think it gives you a, a new asterisk is what that is. Let's go right here. Because why not? Oh, did I not kill it? Or freeze it, rather? Learn a new one for haste. It's kind of neat that all these abilities exist. I mean, I guess there are 10 abilities, but uh, I haven't needed them so far. We're going to finish this level, um, and if we're still alive, at that point we're going to, once again, I'm actually going to stop the video this time and start recording again <clears throat> so I don't have to like import this gigantic fucking video. Let's go here and get healed a bit, maybe. Yeah. Because it looks like we may be at this for a while. <clears throat> I've got the morning off. I've got time to play this, although I wasn't anticipating a fucking hour and a half or two hour game. I was expecting to come on for 15, 20 minutes and then get back to work on caverns, but whatever. I've got some time. My throat's starting to get a bit raw from talking, but fuck it. These are the sacrifices I make for you. As long as my voice agent doesn't call right now and be like, hey, I need you to self-tape this voice recording in the next half hour. That would suck. I literally can't enter that red... Oh. Uh-oh. Okay, um, we hit an error. Uh, I tried to step on that red thing, and the game froze. So I guess this is two videos. All right, I can't do anything else, guys. I'm guessing it tried to unlock a power, and there's some sort of some sort of um, like error with that power. Is my is my guess, or perhaps it tried to give me another psychic power here, one of these extra bars, and it can't go past ten. Whatever the case may be, no key is working. That sucks. Even the question mark key won't work. That's it. There's no more way to play this game. I don't believe it saves. Auto saves or anything. So um, I'm going to, on the off chance, I'm going to try quitting and coming back in and seeing if it auto save, but I don't expect it to. If if not, there you go. That was, uh, well, let's, let's try it first and then I'll give you the, the spiel. Let's kill this. Are we sure it's not going to work? Is there any chance I press numlock? I press, I press caps lock. Numlock again. Nah, that's it, man. All right, um, let's just kill this for a second. Come on, where'd you go? Oops, <laughs> let's kill it. We can't kill it. It won't, it won't die. All right, I'm going to guess, based on this white fucking abomination on my screen here, that it is well and truly dead. I also literally can't quit it. I'm going to have to, like, Control-Alt-Delete out of it. Um, so there you go. That was that was Floating Eye by Purple Arcanist from the 2010 7-Day Roguelike Challenge. Actually had some promise, man. That was an interesting take on the uh, on the roguelike. Um, only the second one I can think of that we played right now where you play the monster. Um, I could be wrong. Maybe there's more than that. But this and Gru are the two that come to mind where you play the monster trying to kill the, uh, you know, the adventurers. Very, very cool for that. Um, obviously has some glaring bugs. You have to bear these three in mind if you decide to play. One, you have to click into the floating eye window um, to get it to work in the first place. Two, if you press the question mark key, your game will end as soon as you try and leave the question mark area. And three, it can apparently just freeze. I'm guessing via stepping on a red thing when you already have ten asterisks or perhaps to try to unlock one of the abilities it can't. So some serious bugs. I wish he had uh, gotten back to work on it, though. It seems fun and promising. And uh, Purple Arcanist, if you ever see this and you still have the code, bust it open, man. It's it's a promising game. It feels like you're on the cusp. P.S. Add a victory condition if there isn't one. All right, that's it, guys. I'm gone for the time being. I'm going to divide this into two videos. See you later.